Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to program your Kenwood THD74 using the free software MCPD74 which you can find on the Kenwood Inter International website. Uh, you will find in the comments below the link to that website and from there you will find all the software from the Kenwood THD74 in the portable section. But first, let's install the Comport driver because before you can plug into your computer uh, the radio you need to install the virtual COM port first okay like the warning they say here and go at the bottom of that page and you will have the link to download the compressed file the dot zip so let's download it and when it's download you will need to open that file and extract all the file that's in it okay doing sorry my windows is in French let's extract the file and then you will need to find if you're running a 64-bit or 32-bit version I'm running the 64-bit of Windows 10 version so let's do the installation and from there you just follow the instruction install and that's it so the driver is now installed we will uh, verify later on make sure that we have the COM port installed correctly and then let's download the memory control program MCPD74 like I mentioned they do the warning again here for the virtual COM port driver to be installed before you plug in your radio in your USB port in your computer let's download the file okay and we will go as well download the uh, D74 D star repeater list and there you go because while programming the radio we will update the list to the latest one so now open that file and extract all the file to do the installation let's go okay extract and then just double click on setup follow the all the instruction sorry for the blank screen it does that to language let's select English and now it's preparing the installation okay just click next and yes I accept next next install that's it it is installed right now so let's close those windows okay yeah that's it okay uh, before you, we open the software as you can see the link is on my desk now so let's go into the control device manager and let's verify that our driver is installed correctly so we'll just expand the COM port and plug in your radio using a USB port and when you turn the radio on your driver is going to show up right under there on the COM port let's go okay so now you can see that my driver is correct because it isn't identified radio THD 74 on COM 3 so we'll need to remember that because that is the COM port where we're gonna program the radio from so let's close that window okay now let's open the software First, uh, they say in the manual it is better to read your radio first uh, before you can, before programming it. So let's set the COM port. I know it's COM3. Okay, so that's good. So let's read from the transceiver. Make sure everything is fine. My radio has been fully reset, so it will be like a brand new radio. But if you already had program stuff by hand, then it will be there. So that's good. Okay, now let's enter uh, my hotspot. Some people ask me how do you program your hotspot. Well, you enter your simplex frequency and I call it hotspot for that memory. And then you, can, you edit the file and you put it in DV. That's the only config you need to do for the hotspot. That's pretty simple. Make sure you're in simplex and that's it. Unless you use a split channel, but uh, usually it's in simplex. Let's program a simplex frequency uh, in analog. So let's put 146.520 simplex. As you can see, the shift is in simplex. But look, you have all the option there. Just click edit and you see that it's an FM. Everything is fine. 
So now let's program uh, analog repeater 146700, which is V to RWX, RXW, sorry. And let's edit, and this is minus shift. Okay, and let's put it on, I think, I'm not sure, it's, I think it's 103.5, but that's not important, just to show you how to program that repeater. And then let's program a D star repeater. So this is a local repeater that's already in the list, in the repeaters list, but let's program it, it's in minus. And let's edit, I will call it V2RIO, that is the module B. And let's edit that file because you cannot just put DV in this because you need to put, you see, you will not be able to enter any repeaters information. So you need to put it in digital repeater and then you can edit and I will put V2 REO module B and I will put the gateway, which is V2 REO. Sorry, as E is in French, like I, <laughs> G for the gateway. And my repeaters is program. So this is how you program frequencies. So let's check, let's go down through the menu and let's change the call uh, channel for UHF. I will put my hotspot for digital and in analog I will put 446-200 just to show you so you can program your call, your, uh, your call channel over there. Then you have weather channel, VFO, okay, let's see, uh, repeaters list, okay. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's loading up. So that's I read from the radio. So let's import the new list that I just downloaded a few moments ago. And it's right there. Open it up. It's USA Canada. That's good. That's it. We had imported and uh, just refresh the list. And now for DSTAR, you can have a call sign list. So I will put just a few friends. Let's say Alan VA2SPB just to show you, because if you want to do call sign routing, this could be very helpful to have already at uh, config into uh, your radio. Let's put Martin, VA2PX, and then I have whoop, V2NBZ, Eric. YQL, Bill, VA2SS, GF. Okay. And W1KFR, another Bill. There you go. So you see, that's how you enter your list. You can import a list as well. You can, you, you see all the config that you have in the menu that you can have here as well. And I like in HF to put in trick alerts, the bandwidth, that's important for me and uh sounds better <laughs> there you go in the menu okay just showing you gps and now let's go into the aprs setting so i will put my call va2 pv up the a2 pv and let's just put 73 in there okay that's it beacon you can set or do all the setup you want if you already do done those uh, config via the radio, well, when you load it up, then you have it. That's a call sign for the digital, that's for the star. It's important, it won't work without it. Let's put P as portable, and let's put a message. Let's put 74, 73, sorry. <laughs> the Pascal. Okay, that's good. Okay. display it's already on that's the only config I did on the radio when I reset for the camera you can adjust your equalizer here your Bluetooth if you want to activate date and time that's okay lock okay and then the unit let's put that in kilometers for me okay and then degrees that's it system language there you go there's another thing, if you go in the display, when you start up the radio, it says hello with a radio uh, picture. I change it for mine, Lab Walling, and it's need to be the same uh, as the original 240 by 180. And that is very important because it won't work otherwise. It, it's need to be in BMP. So as you can see, it's actually the same as uh, my picture. So this is going to work. 
let's open it up and let's change the message for my call sign VA2PV now let's save that config okay I will call it the first config okay let's save that config for the future so because all your work will be lost <laughs> and then let's transfer that to the radio let's write adjust the time and date because I'm in the basement so my radio is not on time because it doesn't get any GPS uh, information but when you have a GPS you don't have to do that so it's done let's see what up oh as you can see you saw my logo Labo en ligne. so that's it for the configuration now if you look at the radio sorry it's a little bit pixel because of the uh, I'm very close with the camera let's first export for saving the data into the SD card that I put in so let's save the data in the SD card so you have a backup there as well and then let's go back and you do an import to load it up as you can see the file is there with the time and date and that's it the radio is programmed look you have all the frequency here that we did program before so have fun and 73.